If you have one of the trouble codes listed on the screen, today I'm going to show you how to test the throttle body, remove and clean it up, also how it works and what to look for in the case that you've got these codes. Now even before opening the hood, you can go ahead and turn the key in the second position. And when you press on the acceleration pedal, you should also hear the throttle body flap moving. Next, let's remove the throttle body and see how it looks like. With a hook or a screwdriver, unplug the connector. With a 7mm, let's remove this hose clamp. Make your way around. With a 5mm hex and a small extension, you gotta remove these four bolts around the throttle body. These four bolts are out and the throttle body should come out as well. It's full of carbon buildup, so I'm gonna clean it up later. Now for the sake of showing you the previous test, I'm going to reconnect the throttle body. And just as a reference, I'm going to connect my scan tool on the OBD2 port, which is down here, the pink one. So on the right, you can see the values of the throttle body position. And there you can see the flap moving live. So you could see the throttle body response, it works well. Now, the, one of the problems is that if you have a lot of carbon buildup around the flap, when the car idles, let's say the throttle flap is gonna be at around, let's say 7% opened. And usually when it idles, it's around 10%. And that 10% is gonna allow a specific amount of air. But if you have that carbon buildup around the flap, that angle is not gonna be relevant for the air which goes in because that carbon buildup will stop the air going inside so that's why it's important to have a clean throttle body in there if your throttle flap is not responding you can go ahead and probe the pin number five and pin number six are basically these two on the side here connect your voltmeter set it to 20 volts and then go ahead and again press the acceleration pedal and you should see a 12 volts which is the input for the motor to move the flap In my situation, you see 14 volts because the battery is charging. And as you can see, when you hear this sound, it means the, mo the motor is activated, is ready to act. And once that sound is over, you can see the voltage is dropping. And of course, you can go ahead and probe as well the TPC, the throttle position sensor. So for example, if you probe the pin number six and pin number one, pin number six is the ground and pin number one is the throttle position sensor. Now, when I press on the flap, you're gonna see a voltage increase. That's also a sign that the throttle body works. This increase is gonna be converted by the computer and the information will be sent to your scan tool. So let's go ahead and clean up the throttle body. I'm gonna use brake cleaner. You can use any cleaner you want. This will not affect the throttle body in any way. And as you can see around there, there is a heavy carbon buildup. You should be able to actually see the light passing between the flap and the throttle body. You cannot see that very well. It's actually covered. So you see that carbon buildup around the flap. That might not look like a lot, but when you close the flap, that's exactly the point where the air should pass. So this is actually a quite old carbon buildup around. You can see that it's almost clean, like, oh, it's clean. It's a clean throttle body. But once you move the flap, you find that gunk in there, which is affecting your engine performance. So that's why it's important to have a look closely on this thing. And by the way, I'm not applying a lot of pressure to scrap the metal, but now if I flash a light, you can see much more better between the flap and the throttle body. Before you could not do that. I forgot to show you a before and after, but here is the after and I can tell you that it was not like this. It was almost impossible to see that light. I'm actually quite confident that this will solve the issue. So I'm going to reinstall the throttle body on. I will start the car and see how it idles and also I will see the mass airflow rate. 
which can also be decreased if the throttle body is dirty, which it will not allow that air to pass through. Therefore, the mass airflow sensor will not read that air coming through. So let's see. Oh wow, look at that. The engine was cold and you can see it's not 1500 anymore, it's below 1500. That will tell you if that was a problem. In my situation, I think I fixed the issue. The car idles much, much better. So let me put it in gear. And as you can see, it idles much, much better. Before this needle was around 700 RPMs. Now it's where it should. It's around 900 and it's quite steady. Alright guys, so that was pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will try to answer to all of them. Also, if you want to see more videos about this Audi, I'm going to put a link in the description below with a playlist. Also, if you are new to this channel and you want to see more car repair videos from me, hit that subscribe button as well. It helps me a lot to make more videos for you guys. And until next time, drive safe so I can see you soon.